Right, here we go again. For the last few months, me and Dominic, we've been having some short trips across the pond to Belgium. But this time, we've got 11 nights, haven't we? And we're joined by Guy. <laughs> um, Guy come with me back in March, we had a good trip. Um, so yeah, we've got 11 nights to play with. Bit of a plan, haven't we? But We'll see, play it by ear most of the time, see what happens, see where we end up. We're not too far from the tunnel now. St steady drive down. Don's been asleep. Only for half an hour. <laughs> Just a steady grab of that for half an hour. I've been a bit worried all the, since we set off because Guy's got past form of breaking down. <laughs> so I'm a bit worried. We normally make it just towards Belgium. That's it, it's game over from there. It's back home on a flatbed. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. If we get there in one piece, I will personally update you on the other side to say that I've arrived and I'm safe and we're not heading back to England to go for some farlows. <laughs> so, I think that's it for now. Unless Guy wants to add anything. Probably not, but you know. No, he said, he said no. <laughs> Just the deadly duo. I'm, I'm just third wheeling. So. <laughs> he's not third wheeling. He has an idea what he's doing. He is a novice to the sport, <laughs> but we're going to show him the ways. <laughs> Your elf head fills this camera, mate. Jesus. You f. <laughs> 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 Right, that's it. We're here, all three of us in one piece, and I believe we've all got the rods out. There was a change of plan on the way here. We've ended up on a damned off river, which I fished before with Guy um, last year and in March, I think. Yeah, in March. So, yeah, we thought we'd bring Dom. Dom's never been here, so all about the adventure and that. Uh, yeah, it's just starting to rain. It's 8 o'clock, it's getting dark. Bit of a rush getting the rods out, really, but they're out. I'm just gonna chill out, have a beer. Kind of droopler. I'd stop at Aldi on the way here and grab some. Um, yeah, beer and barbecue tonight, I think. Chill out, first night. Tom's tired, that's per. But yeah, looks good for it. Mate. How's it going? Not bad, mate, not bad. All sorted? All sorted, rods are out, going out sweet. Mm. Two casts on the money, two spoms of bait, tigers and boilies. Job's good, mate, isn't it? I think Guy's got his rods out. It's a crayfish, mate. Crayfish, they have no up baits left. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> Six rods alone, have no up baits left. All you can do is use tigers or plastics. Tights. Yeah. But we don't have any tights. Oh. Big T. There's another one, that's another crayfish. We're crayfishing tonight. There's no carp in here, just crayfish. The bad in here, mate. We're a nightmare. But, we'll see. First night, a few granddad nights on the way down. I'm not doing too, too bad. I think we're having a barbecue, aren't we? Yeah. When Guy gets round, but he's probably still tying rigs, knowing Guy. <laughs> he knows to use ready ties, so you know what I mean, but, yeah. Here he is. Alright. How's it going? Alright mate. All sorted? Yeah. Rods out? Yeah. Go out alright? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, they did alright. Thank you. 
First night in Belgium on the trio trip. We're on a downed off stretch of river and this is the first bite. Mike. My first bite on the downed off stretch of river. Couldn't have gone any better. Good Let's start. Back. Good start. Nice one, Don. Good angling that mate. Good angling. Call me the specimen hunter. Just made it to the lake, downed off river. A uh, bit of a catastrophic disaster last night to be fair. I was there. Uh, had a run. Yeah, no rod there. So we've had a, we've lost a rod. Luckily, we have a spare. Lost another one last night. Crazy pulled my uh, lead core to pieces. Uh, but yeah, we've got one. All ended well. Lovely times. That's it. Well done, mate. We found this in the deepest, darkest depths of Mordor. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, haven't we? <laughs> Get you. <laughs> What happened last night? Emotional night, a crazy night. Uh, crayfish, nightmare. Uh, reeled in one rod, no bait on it. Reeled in the other, one tagging up, anti-tangle sleeve, smashed to bits, new ring. Disaster. Forming it. Right, my left rod, the line was in the margin. Crayfish bitten me off. I said cut me off, but they've chewed free and whatever. Over here they call them crabs. So yeah, the crabs have bit me off. So I thought I'd bring the second rod in, exactly the same, it's in the margin. And it's also putting me off. Lost a load of tackle, but what can you do? That's in one of them, innit? So, nice one. Well, we me. Woke up in the morning, one rod's off the rest. Drowned up in the snag, didn't have any bleeps, but no fish on the end anyway. Um, and the left rod, tiger missing from the crabs. So, Probably not been fishing all night. I don't think none of us have by, by the sounds of it. We pissed it down, we're yeah. all bivy bound. Nothing to film. Fun. What? The storm was great. The storm was crazy. Yeah. I've never experienced crazy. this. <laughs> and that, the storm, the storm was crazy in that. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, best thing about last night was the meat lover. Yeah, the pizza. Which is the takeaway. Yeah, it was all right. But over the night, we're going to go to a new venue and hopefully it goes more to plan, <laughs> goes more to plan than what it has last night. So yeah, got the gear in the van. Fuck off. it out. Right, here we are. Destination number two. Um, don't look too bad for it. It's stopped raining, everything's dried out. Um, last night's storm was ridiculous. I've never experienced it like it. Um, but yeah, we sorted out, we split up. Three of us and guys just around the corner from me, but I've not even spoke to Dom. I don't know where Dom is, so yeah, just filming side of things might not go to plan. But we'll do what we can. Um, yeah, pretty happy really. Rods are out. I think I've just seen Guy put his out, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, looks alright for it. Seen a plenty of fizzing. So yeah. Probably my move tomorrow. I'm already sort of planning ahead uh, where I am now. I'm happy doing a night here, but anymore uh, night, we'll see. But yeah, so far so good. Yeah, play it by ear anyway. Gonna give them a ring, see how he's getting on, see if he's sorted. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know. Somewhere in there is my first one. Happy days. Right, that didn't take long at all. Set up on some fizzing, me and Guy on one of the different lakes with no one else on. And yeah, didn't take long at all. They soon got on the bait, started fizzing up on me straight away. Guy spotted it from his swim, to be honest. But yeah, that'll do. Not massive, but it's a good start. So yeah, Pete's from beers tonight, I reckon, Guy? Uh-huh, certainly. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. But yeah, right, we'll get her back. Well sorted. Yeah, mate. Happy? Yeah. Yeah, fishing a 
stinky, silty spot. Had a wafter on for start, and then uh, decided to put a Club Tropicana on top. See what happens. Looks good for it. Does look good for a bite. Thunderstorm's gone. For now. For now. Beer so and pizza. That's what we like. Not sure what Dom's doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Nah. No. I don't know where Dom is. Now nah, we'll see what happens, see what happens. Uh, yeah, it looks good for a bite. Um, it could pay off for us in the next day or so. If we push them into next door, Ollie's fishing next door tomorrow. And I'm fishing the one after that. That tomorrow as well, so doing ourselves a bit, a bit of a favour, if I'm honest. Yeah. See what happens. I reckon so. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. Peach from Bird tonight, like Guy said. And yeah, not clear what Dom's doing. I don't even know where he is now. Bless him. He's only small. <laughs> he's, only he's, small. Only, he's only little. Uh, that thunder really might have scared him. Yeah, he needs his thunder buddy. <laughs> where were you? I was, I was with him last night when yeah. it was thundering. But yeah. yeah. So hopefully not a disaster like last night and uh, hopefully get a better trip. Keep the, keep, keep the strip... Uh, keep the trip off properly. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Got there in the end. Yeah, got there in the end. <laughs> but yeah, no, all good. Here he is. Thought we'd lost him. Been on my travels, haven't I? Been on your been travels. Over there, been over there. I'm back in here. I'm sad, man. Yeah. Gonna put one rod in here. Don't show him. Whoa. Don't get the game away. Sorry. And then put one rod in here. Oh. Don't show him that either. Stay on me. And then I, I broke one of my tips from my rods. So I asked Guy to come get me my other one out of the van, but he didn't. So I'll have to Yeah, but what did he come back with? He come back, yeah. He come back with, bearing in mind, Guy's like this, but like brick shit house. <laughs> he, he come back with a chair. Some beer. What else did he have? That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. The chair and beer. You couldn't. I have a single sleeve. Said, bring my rod back for me. So I couldn't carry it. How can you not carry it? Brought beer though. Yeah, bought beer. <laughs> so I'll have to use this now. My, my my spawn rod for a night. It's a long old trip to the van. So back to the van. Yeah, I'm not going back for a night. It's gonna piss it down. Up. It's gonna rain again in a minute. Um, but I'm up. My house is up. It's all right. It's not bad. So I'm gonna get some rods out. We're having a takeaway, mate. Yes. Yeah. Have a takeaway. Get some rods out. Again. Again. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll get chewed off by craze. No craze in <laughs> here, mate. Today. It should be all right. Should be all right. Uh, yeah, for now. That's it. Get some rods out. Get sorted. Get sorted. Enjoy the line. All it's done is rain. This rain's due in all day. Again. Congratulations on your new PB, mate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a bite out of blue. Well, I was just sat down having a chat to a local. But yeah, good start to the night after a move this morning. So we'll see what tonight brings. <laughs> Anyone welcome? Mm. Cheers, big lad. <laughs> Just before first light, the right rod ripped off again. She's a bit angry. But yeah, nice one. How big we're saying, lads? I 20s, I 20s, let's see yeah, what it is. Yeah. Around yeah. there. Yeah. That'll do. We'll get a slip back. And yeah, get some breakfast on the go, I reckon. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Crumpets, jam and butter. Sounds good to me. Free food. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, sound.
three times to different parts of the lake. I set up on some fish yesterday. Although I didn't feel that confident, I said to the lads, this rattled off this morning. <coughs> this is known as Little Lynn. It's a nice way to start my account this trip with Guy and Ollie. We'll slip a black, we'll get the rods back out. We'll see if we can catch some more. Did you uh, have any fish on you last night? <laughs> showing? Yeah, showing. No show last night? Did have any showing? Yeah. Yeah, I had that. Half the, the whole stock. stock, the whole stock yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> Right. Cool. There's not much to say about today. It's been quite uneventful. Um, but yeah, I've stayed put for tonight. Due to me having a couple of bites last night, I thought I'd do another night and swim out that I am in. The fizzing is still happening, so there is still fish in front of me. Um, Dom, obviously I had one they call Little Lynn this morning. Upper 30 mirror, one of the old ones. In. I'm in. I didn't expect that. Well, as you will have just seen, while I was just updating you all, the right rod ripped off. Nothing massive, but a good start to the night, and I've already had a few liners on the other on the other rod. So plenty of time for another one. Dom's kindly come round to do some snaps and a bit of video. So yeah, get a slip back. Happy days, mate, eh? Happy days, mate, well done. As you will have seen. As I was updating the camera last night, I had a bite on my right rod. Yeah, it was right rod. Long come round a few pictures and whatnot. Um, yeah, I carried on getting liners throughout the night um, on both rods. I've just had a bite on my left rod, which is a different spot out there. Um, yeah, but well, to be fair, come off. We did me up. Just it was still second braid on the take and I can feel it going through all the wee beds and yeah, it's one of them where it's just like any minute now it's just gonna come off. So yeah, it come off. Got the rods back out, There's still plenty of fish out there fizzing. So yeah, I haven't spoke to Guy or Dom this morning, so I don't know how they're getting on. Well, <coughs> I woke up um, from a message from Dom saying it was about half four, I think he messaged me saying he's got hippo showing on him, so yeah, he should have a bite this morning, all being well, but yeah. Struggling for a few days, two moves, and then we seen uh, some fizzing. Moved on to him last night. Finally, first light this morning, fishing into a tight little bay. Marvellous. A bit honestly, God, I have been struggling. I'm not gonna lie, it's been hard going. I think we're about a week late. It's been fishing its head off, but lovely times. Well, after this morning's bite, it's just before afternoon, seen a load of fishing out in the middle of the lake, flicked a rod out to it, voila. Nice little common, that'll do me nicely.
eating all my sweets again. Oh. Just move around here with me, just to eat all my food. No, I didn't. Yes, right. yes, you did. Listen, let's have a chat about this. About what? What do you want to chat about? You eat all my sweets. Did you do that one? No, it doesn't matter. Treat yourself, mate. Worked hard today. I, I have. It's been a busy day, mate. That has, yeah. You're right. not wrong. I've had 20 fish. I've been bit by a mosquito on my arm. No, all serious though. I have moved legs again. <laughs> <laughs> no surprise. Um, I'm on, a, I'm on a lake with all tonight. Fancy the change. Been here four nights. We only plan to do two or three. Now I've been here four. It's not our choice. Um, so tomorrow we're meant to be going to France. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. I'll tell you in the morning. But for now, the rods are out. We've had some decent grub on a barbecue. Uh, the mosquitoes are out for us. Not got my brolly up. So definitely, if you want to get bit into shreds again, hopefully it's not on my eyelids because it hurts on your eyelids. Um, other than that, we've had a pretty good afternoon. We've had a laugh as usual. We're just eating all old sweets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, other than that. What about yourself, mate, really? <coughs> Well, fish have been fizzing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I've been fizzing everywhere, not just in here, in every single part of the lake. So yeah. So yeah, looks good for it. We've got all areas covered. We have eight rods out between us. We don't really have three. Um, but yeah, they're all out, mate, aren't they? They're all dancing. Just wait for the cart to play ball. Hopefully we can finish with a nice brace in the morning. And then we get out of here, get to France. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, mate. However, <laughs> now hopefully we do. Hopefully we get on the road tomorrow and go to France and uh, start a new adventure. Never been to France. I have been to France. It's been when I was young. I've been a few times to Pay Lakes. But this time I'm going with the big bear um, and Guy. We're going to go and fish some publics out there. So, yeah, it'll be, be good times, I reckon. Yeah, I'm ready for a change or seeing the renown. I would have happily gone home yesterday, never mind today. Yeah. Not home, but somewhere else. But. Yeah, but anyway, last night, let's hope we can do something good and uh, get a couple more fish for the camera, I suppose. So, yeah, catch up with you tomorrow. Sweet. Well, I had a small mirror in the night, just before midnight, and yeah, this morning a bit of a weird occurring to one of the rods which there was nothing on in the end. I think it was just a really savage liner on the braid. But then another rod fishing the lake behind us was absolutely one noted off. And this is the result. Lovely way to end our time at the lakes. But I think it's nearly time to get wrapped up. Where are we off, boy? Rough to France, France mate. New we? country, we've, new adventure, we've mate. We've never been to France, not in the public anyway. So yeah, we're, we're raring to go for that. And yeah, we best get sorted, mate. Pat down. Cross on for breakfast. Cross on for breakfast. Pat down. Let's get out of here, mate. Yeah, sound, mate. Right, seeing as Dom's rode the radio, we thought this would be the perfect time to say what's happening. I haven't broke the radio. The radio is just not working <laughs> after I press pause on it. However, we have finished in Belgium, and now we're on the way to France to do what we're doing. Five, four nights. Lakes. Yeah, part lakes, canals, we'll see. We've never been. We haven't been. Not in the public anyway, so. New adventure, new. New, ad new trip, new adventure. It's currently raining, which is great because we all love a bit of rain. Uh, other than that, what's your guy? Nope. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's tapping on the window. <laughs> Hello. Well, Hopefully, it goes a, a little bit more to plan than what Belgium has. It went, well, it went to plan. We've all caught fish, which is nice. The weather on the ground was absolutely rubbish. So, um, we've all had disasters. Yeah, on the, on the first dammed off river was a disaster on the second night. We've had a bit of a disaster on the lakes, but nothing major. So hopefully, France ends the trip on a high, really, for all of us. So. Me and Dom are both down to for two rods now, aren't we? Two, two rods only now. All snap to tip. 
by rings come out of ring, it's not ring, is it? ceramic sorry it's come out of the tip but yeah we're down a rod each but that's how it is isn't it you can't do it for the bike when you're over here we're just pulling it up now to we'll try and sort this radio off so <laughs> just reset it yeah how do you reset it turn it off uh -huh. do i have to open the door or it just stays on <laughs> you're proper knackered this aren't you yeah, but get a baking needle, put it in there. Yeah, because it resets it. It's still cut. Yeah. Stop. No. Why? You've got to keep this adventure going, guy. Yeah. Guy, that is not a baiting needle that we need for the radio. <laughs> I reckon it might have fit in there, though, that hole. <laughs> Right, Dom? Yes. We're in France. We are. We made it. We did. In one piece. In one piece, we did break down. <laughs> oh. All sorted, All set. Sorted. Look, your drive went quite quick, really, considering I broke the radio. You did. Uh, technically, I didn't break the radio, but it did break the radio when I pressed the button. So, yeah, I broke the radio. We had to start singing songs. How long was the drive? Three Just hours and 20 something minutes? Yeah. Like yeah. It went quite quick to be fair though, didn't it? Yeah. And then when we was near enough here, guy let us know that we only had uh, a little bit of fuel left, the red light was coming on as we were coming over some mountain tops. So we found a, a petrol station, we found a supermarket, we've got, we're having spag bowl for tea instead of a barbecue. Master Chef himself over there, guy, he's cooking it. So the rods are out, we're having a bit of a social, a couple of beers, and a nice spag bowl. I don't think you've ever cooked for me, Oi. I don't cook. Right, it's raining. I'm tucked up, like right at the back of my brolly, because it's hacking in my face and everything's getting wet. But yeah, I've moved, the rods are out, some clean areas. There's a lot of weed out there, like a lot. It's bad, but I managed to find a couple of spots. Got some nice drops on the road, bit of bait. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy, to be honest. I'll be on my own again tonight, because Guy and Dom are still over there. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. Saw a few out here this morning. Like maybe nine, ten o'clock, some proper good ones. It's our first time here, like I said yesterday. So we don't really know the lake. But where I fished last night was quite shallow. Uh, I'd say four or five foot. I was only just catching a drop. But over here it's a little bit deeper. But there's a lot of weed. And I've never experienced this, but I brought in some weed and I smelled the weed. It was fresh, but you could smell carp. Like, I've never had that before, but yeah, the, the weed stunk a carp, and we've seen a few show out here, so yeah, I, I just had to move. I come round and leaded it up before I actually moved round, just to make sure I could find some good enough areas. But yeah, come round, found some good areas, went back, wrapped up, barred round. So yeah, just bivvy bound at the minute for us all. I can see them two huddled up in Dom's bivvy. But yeah. Curry for tea tonight, I think. Guy's cooking again. I'll get Dom to deliver that. <laughs> Come round, drop it off. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, this morning, like I said, didn't feel the one. I moved. I don't know why has it been paid off. It's our first, first time here on the public lakes in France. And to catch this has blow me away. What are you saying, Dom? It's been tough going, hasn't it, mate? It has, mate, yeah. It didn't feel the one at all. Yeah. All day, yesterday, I didn't feel the one. I was contemplating a lake. I moved to a different lake, but I was pulled it out of the bag. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth the move. It's spectacular <laughs> fashion, aren't you? I still wasn't feeling 100% confident, but I was happy with my spot, so there's always a chance. 
I'd literally just messaged my mate saying, I'm not that confident for tonight. We was already discussing about going somewhere else tomorrow. Then it just ripped off. And pulled it out of the <laughs> bag. As it does. Yeah, beautiful, mate. Lovely fish. Yeah, mate, happy days. I'm buzzing. We've done the stills. Slipper back, mate. Yeah. Oh, let's get her back. Yes, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Slip her back, mate. Oh. It's not been in the sling. I'm just taking it out of the water in the sling. Yeah. Thousand euro fine if you sling fish. In France. Nice one that one mate. Yeah boy. Guy's got one also. Guy's got one also. Got a massive belly on guys. Not guy. The, the <laughs> <fish>. <laughs> well done mate, well done. Bang yes. on that. Beautiful one. Yeah. Right, it was a quiet night apart from that one. About 11 o'clock. Um, but yeah, I don't know what time, what time is it now Dom? Uh, I'd say about 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10ish. I was just about to reel in to go do some photos for Guy because he's got a couple. And yeah, the left rod was absolutely melted off. Low 30 common. The one last night was slightly bigger, but they're all immaculate. Full of character. This one's got no dorsal fin, it's just little spikes. But yeah, I'm happy, mate. Let's get. I think it's time for some breakfast. Breakfast, that's like. Let's get this one slipped back and we're going to sort Guy out. Yeah, boy. Alright, boy. Sadly. Well done. Yeah, boy. It's like last night. What are you saying, Guy? Pressure's off now, boys. I tell you. I've struggling for two nights. Like bloody London buses. Lost one this morning, didn't you, mate? Lost one first light. And then uh, right hand rod bust off as Ollie, uh, as Don moves over to Ollie. Then uh, gets that one in the sack. Middle one goes. Amazing. Lovely times. We'll get that one out of the down. Going for. Just under. What? Just over. It's just literally over. just over 40. I was 40 on nose. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, mate. I'll do. Well, this is number two. The French Park Lake. 40 pounder. Just over. Magical, mate. Eh? Magical, eh? Just think. We was all getting fed up and down. This is what you need on a trip when you're struggling. Just a big fatty. Well done, mate. Mega. How's your day been, Dom? A day has been another, I would say frustrating, but it's not frustrating, it's just a bit slow. You've had bites, guys had bites, and I'm still scratching my head. Hard to get a bite. I really do need a shave, because that's really annoying me. But other than that, I've moved again, I'm in a swim, next door to you, two rods are out on the spot, I'm happy, hopefully drifting, and in the morning, I'll have the late record at £74.6. We'll see, will we? Have you seen all that fizzing? What fizzing? Literally, a few red lamps out. I thought it slowed down a bit now. Oh, yeah, in the right? Yeah. yeah. Tea's on. What are we having? Steak, chips, mushrooms for you. Bit of garlic. Garlic. Got a couple of big steaks. Some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. A beer. beer. Hey up. That's a liner. Probably crayfish. Yeah, but you said that last night and you got back. Guy's over there on his own now. Wanking himself silly. 
enjoying his holiday. <laughs> yeah, Guy thinks this is a pay lake. <laughs> Guy's been uh, treating it as get the bait boat out, drop 10 kilo of oil a day. <laughs> and he's going to catch him. He said to us that he's on holiday. So, all right, Guy, he's on holiday. Um, I think he expects his food to be delivered to his swim and that. He's pointing at some over there. I don't know what he's pointing at, but... He's got a night on his own tonight. I had to give him a tuition yesterday. That's why he caught his two carp today. <laughs> um, he didn't say thank you. I even had to give him some sharp ups because he's, he's really blunt. Did you actually? Yeah. I said, you can't be using them, guy. He's like, why? Well, the bang on them. I said, guy, you won't be able to hook anything with them. I said, you won't even be able to hook a roach, never mind a carp. So I give him some fresh hooks. And then he said he wanted some pop-ups, so I had to give him some pop-ups. And he said, I don't know where to put my rods. So I told him where to put his rods, and he had two bites. Do you know what I mean? Like, people pay a fortune for stuff like this. He gets it for free. <laughs> I'm not bringing him again. <laughs> no, a fair play to the boys. They both had a couple. And it's been, it's been really nice. Hopefully I can get in the mix and have a fish. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my tea. Watch the sunset. Get in bed. And wake up in the morning to motionless rods. <laughs> nah, hopefully I have a bite. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Bye, Alder Blue. Yep. Well, I've decided not to move a million times. I thought the fish might come to me. Standard French tactics. Bait and wait, baby. What do we? Upper 30? 38 pounds. That'll do, boy. It's a bit lively, so. Put it back. Get it back. Lovely one to wake up to. Not massive, but. All welcome, all say. in France. Hopefully maybe a couple more to grace the net. But it's been a struggle this trip. But we'll see what the morning brings. But, uh, yeah. Be lucky, eh? Slip her back mate and go and get your tea. That's the one. <laughs> burn me, good burn man. me wedges. That's it. Well done mate, good man. Favourite ones of the trip, this one. Quite last night. Yeah. Nice just, one. Just over 30, 37 pounds. She'll do lovely. Lovely, lovely colours. Yeah. Got a as bigger we, one. As we was uh, taking photos of this one, Rod's gone. Happy days. Sweet, let's get her back. I think it's the last, right? Well, some say, they say the best will last. On our first Park Lake French trip, definitely the best. 100% mate. 49 pound. Absolute dinosaur. <laughs> Absolute donkey. Lovely times. Now we're gonna be late for the train. Yeah, we're gonna be late. <laughs> <laughs> we're done by. about that. Crappiest morning ever. The biggest one on the trip. Let's put it back. Go on, boy. Absolute dinosaur. duo. Featuring Guy, the holiday maker. Guys, loved his holiday. My holiday's been great. Oh, the only downside of the trip is 
He had left his white bucket there. So <laughs> well, luckily, he got us a five in the garage. <laughs> All ready for next year. <laughs> yeah, when we went to Belgium, we fished off the Danube River. It was all right for a night. The second night, as you'll see on the camera, wasn't very good. But then when we got through to France, guys went full holiday mode. <laughs> so we was on a, a public lake, a guy set his, set his rods out, set his rolly up, like we, was, we paid to be there. <laughs> I expected any minute for the bailers to be round for breakfast, dinner, tea. But anyway, he got his rods out, he stayed in the same swim, and he's caught some absolutely incredible car. And so is this man, this man's caught some. Me on the other hand, I've caught absolutely Nothing from French, from French, from France. Um, but that's how it goes, you can't catch them all, you can't win them all. But until next time, we're gonna go again. Hopefully, I'll better look.